Hi, my name is Father Jason. I'm the rector at Holy Spirit Episcopal Church in Waco, Texas. And today we're going to spend some time praying with our gospel passage for this coming Sunday, which is Mark chapter 1, verses 29 to 39. Again, that's Mark 1, verses 29 to 39. As we prepare our hearts to listen to Jesus' voice in this passage of Scripture, I invite you to find a comfortable place to sit, to close your eyes, and to take a few deep breaths. As we read the passage for the first time, I invite you to ask Jesus what one word, phrase, image, or just idea he wants to stand out for you, out to you, as a, an anchor for this prayer. As soon as Jesus and his disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now, Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, And they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons. And the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues, and casting out demons. Jesus, what word, phrase, image, or idea do you want to stand out to me for this prayer? As we read the passage a second time, ask Jesus how this passage touches your life today. As soon as Jesus and his disciples left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening, at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues, and casting out demons. Jesus, how does this passage touch my life today? As we read the passage a final time, 
ask Jesus what he is asking you to do, change, or become. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening, at sunset, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. Jesus, what are you calling me to do, change, or become? And now, drawing all of our prayers into one, we pray as our Savior Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.